Hey everyone, this is Ramey here at the UMI Performance Race Shop in Phillipsburg, Pennsylvania. I'm in front of the UMI 99 Camaro, fresh off a strong run at Holly LS Fest. We had some trick new parts in the 99 at LS Fest, and we have a display here to talk about it. The Cornermax system has some pretty neat geometry improvements, and probably the most important one is the roll center height adjustment. So the roll couple distribution on the fourth gen Camaro platform is a little bit sketchy to start with. So the front roll center is too low and the rear roll center is too high. That makes the roll couple distribution like this. When we raise the roll center using our part number 2330K member, it moves the roll center up and then we can use the Watts link or a uh, pan hard bar relocation kit to bring the rear roll center height down. That makes the roll center like about maybe two inches high off the ground in the front and maybe eight or nine inches in the rear, which greatly improves the roll couple distribution. A few key points about the revised roll center height road race K member. The K member itself saves approximately 25 to 30 pounds on the front end of the fourth gen platform. Here we have the location to change the roll center height. We also have anti-slider brackets that prevent movement uh, during hard cornering. Once the alignment is set in and locked, it's there forever. Out back, we have some spacers that come with the kit to change the height of the rear part of the A-arm as well. So the A-arm is still parallel in the car. The upper mount is also pretty cool. We have a Caterpillar mount on here that allows us to change the inner pickup point on the upper A-arm as well. Whenever we lower that, down to this bottom hole. I have it raised so you can see the, the mount. Whenever we lower that down to the bottom hole, it also raises the roll center height. So we're not talking about center of gravity. So center of gravity is completely different. The roll center height is what we're trying to improve on this car. A few more highlights about the UMI Road Race K member here in front of me. We have some stiffening ribs in here to uh, make sure that we have enough strength for road race and autocross use and even street use if you're so inclined. UMI has our exclusive twin tube lower section. If you drop from a wheel stand and it lands on this, it doesn't collapse and basically saves your engine. So we've had uh, tremendous success with our dual tube design over the years, also integrated into, the, into this K member. The LS mounts in this case are integral. We have LT mounts and also small block Chevy mounts available with this K member. The spacers we talked about earlier are here. You can see how um, they're offset. So these ones are symmetrical on the standard K member. When you buy this K member, we include this offset type of bushing. It's important to note that the road race K member with the roll center height adjustment only works with aftermarket arms, specifically UMI ones, which we obviously prefer. Here's the anti-slider mounts. They fit in here in the key stock area. Uh, when you lock the alignment in, it remains uh, locked forever. Two types of A-arms here. We have our boxed road race style and tubular, what we would consider drag race or street style. You can also do autocross on these ones, but the industry seems to love having the slightly heavier um, and slightly stronger design of the box for the autocross and road race applications. If you have any questions, you can contact us at support at umiperformance.com and we'll get you going.